Hey guys, in this video I want to show you a simple technique to sculpt belts onto figures. Now the model I'm going to be using is this Avatars of War Orc Skeleton which is going to form part of my 40k themed undead army. Now in an attempt to 40 kify this uh, model I want to add equipment pouches and the like but before I can do that he really does need a belt. So what you're going to need is some cellophane. I'm using a grip seal bag. We want a flat lid, ideally transparent. Green stuff, of course, a hobby knife, a rubber tip sculpting tool. I've got this one that has a bit of a chiseled point. It's kind of my favorite for doing all sorts of sculpting work uh, and some water. Now, once you've mixed up your green stuff, we need to roll it into a snake, a worm. Right, and that's where the clear lid comes in because you can put the green stuff on the table, put a bit of water over it uh, and then use this as a bit of a rolling pin as it were. And because it's transparent, you can check the the diameter of the, the snake so it's consistent across its entire length, right? which hopefully will leave you with something like this. Uh, now the thickness of the, the snake, the worm, needs to be approximately how thick you want the belt. Uh, as for the length, you need it to be slightly longer than you, you need. So you can, in this case, I'm kind of imagining how, how wide his hips are, how much I'm going to need, and I think that's going to be more than enough. Now once you've got your, your snake, right, we're going to use the cellophane. So we're just going to gently put it in a straight line in the middle here, right, and then fold the cellophane over to go over the top like this. Right, then we can sort of apply a little bit of pressure in a line like this, and it's going to flatten it down, and the, the sort of smooth cellophane is going to give both front and back of this belt a smooth finish. Right, and what you should be left with Right, it's something a little bit like this. There we go. You should be able to peel one side off. There we go, it's pretty smooth. And then using the hobby knife, we can peel it off the other side. Just like that. Right, so now we've got a a smooth, uniform in thickness belt that we can then apply to the model. Right, there we go. So as for getting it on the model, um, this is the tricky part. I'm not going to lie, I've taken a few attempts at trying to do this, so if you're not getting it done in your first try, don't worry about it. Um, but what we're going to have to do is think about the model itself and where can we apply pressure. Now I cannot apply any pressure to the front of this model because his pelvis is, is hollow, uh, but I can at the back round the sort of spinal column. So let's try and not distort this as it's on my fingers. And I'm going to try and put the back of it just very loosely tapping it there, get it off my right hand and then using the rubber tipped tool to try and hold it down as I remove my other hand. There we go. So that's gently stuck there and I can use the, the wet tool here just to put a little bit of pressure so it's sticking to the resin model uh, and not my fingers. Now the rest of it should be fairly straightforward to a point. Right? You're just going to have to think about where gravity is going so it's going to be falling underneath the top of the pelvis. Right? It's going to come round like so uh, and then that's going to join like that. So I've, I've Gauge this fairly well because there's only like a couple of mil of overhang, or overlap, which is fine because then we can just join that up there and then with the, the back of the tool kind of smooth the bits together. Now I'm not going to I'm not going to worry too much about smoothing these in because as I said the whole point of me doing this was to add equipment belts so I could quite easily stick. Um, some pouches over the back of that and no one will, no one will ever know. Um, as for the front of the belt, I'm just going to use the back of this sculpting tool to try and apply a little bit of gravity to it. It's going to be hanging down loose on this model, just like that. And in 
fairness, it probably should have hung loose uh, just underneath here, but never mind, it's stuck now. So that's the technique really, it's pretty straightforward, but it does allow you to add belts to all sorts of things. I'm gonna give him sort of like braces that go up and around his shoulders because he's gonna be carrying a backpack full of munitions and whatnot. But this same technique, uh, if you've watched my last video uh, where I was painting this Rostroyan, this is how I managed to get the uh, carry strap on his his auto rifle here. So in, in fairness, in this point, what I did is I applied a small amount of uh, super glue here, stuck the edge of the belt to it, right? let it dry just enough for the, the super glue to hold the green stuff to it, and then moved it round over his shoulders, and then again stuck it down there, and then later on I came back and did the sort of like the, the fold back, the, the sort of loop here, uh, and then did a little bit with the excess um, from the, the original belt. I kind of just folded it back on itself, just like that, and then added some more details here. So that is the technique. That's how you, well, how I have been uh, sculpting belts on my Skeleton Warriors. Hopefully this is useful for uh, anyone else watching this. And if you've enjoyed the video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, take it easy.